Welcome to the Big Biz Show, featuring insight, analysis, and a lot of stuff that's none of your business. Uh, hold on. This is the Big Biz Show. I think it is their business. Making the markets work for you. Here's the man with the plan, Sully. Hey there, live from the Loft 100 Studios in sunny San Diego, California. 125 million broadcast homes. You know, there's this thing. I hope they don't find out. Uh, Big Biz was on the air. Of course, welcome to Bloomberg Network, our latest affiliate, as well as Biz TV and such. And we are also simulcast on radio. Um, I think we were all employed for, at one point, iHeartRadio. Mm -hmm. yeah. And American Forces Radio Network in 175 countries and all the ships at sea. Love our Great Love And there's the Day Trader Trio, Mike Cumin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm so confused now. There's a blam, right? And and Sully says, All right, "Give me a blam." I would love, I would love for you to be pulled over. Hey, officer, I was just thinking about the blam, or <laughs> or the re or the resolve. You, like you have no idea. Uh, can you give us a little sound sound again? Because Mike was talking during the last one. One, two, three, four. Do you know what's interesting about that? Brian Jordan mm -hmm. played that song with I'm gonna step back and kiss myself, James East. Mr. Brown? The, the James East. Oh. <laughs> James Brown, though. Did you play that song with James Brown? I did. Was he a nice guy? Very nice. Very business guy. Down no kidding. Who's the biggest star you played with other than James East? Would it be Lauren Hill? Would it be uh, Dave Matthews? Would it be James Brown? All of them. Wow. And how do you get those gigs? And here's the, un here's the uncomfortable part. Why don't you have these gigs anymore? Right. <laughs> so anyway, what happened? Um, I'm going to tell you, one of my favorite things about this show is that we are so credible. We even have a human on the NASDAQ trading floor uh -huh. in New York City. Ooh. His name is Howard Font. He used to be a trader. Now he's just a, a, a trader. Um, <laughs> but, but let's visit Howie. Look at him. Like, he brings a sense of uh, security and calm and adult supervision. Howie, what's happening today on, on Wall Street? Gentlemen, thank you for having me. I'm uh, chained to my desk as usual uh, on the floor doing? of the New York Stock Exchange, not the NASDAQ. Does something so. seem amiss to you? So, uh, How, uh, Howie. Me, yeah, hey, Howie, we're right here. Howie. Can, I, can, 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 can you be you, on the bar? What's the, set's, the set's over <laughs> here, dude. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Howard Font. It is. <laughs> I am usually. That's a hell of a try, though. Here, though. By the way, you could, honey, I'm a, I'm in New York. AI. Uh, oh. Yeah. Could you imagine having like a, a, a Floyd Merriweather next to you there? Like, hey, I'm 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 in New York on the train for Floyd. He just rang the bell. Um, I have to say that it's been great to have you on the air with us because you are the tip of the spear. You live in New York City. Um, you've been in the financial services game for a long time, and you sort of like you know how you like the sports pages. Yeah. And and you like. Yeah. Taking some time off. Right. You, you live for this stuff. I mean, when you see the morning open and the morning bell, you're like, you're hundred percent locked in. Yeah. I, I like it for some reason. I, it's a sickness. I don't know, but, um, <laughs> no, it, it is um, what gets me going. You guys realize, do you realize at the age of 22, you ran for city council? Yep. 22. That's right. You ran for <sighs> office. Okay. We don't <sighs> regularly vote. Okay, the three of us? No. Like, we, we've not uh, renewed our license plate on time so, since 70. Yeah. He, he runs for city council. So you're a recovering politician? <laughs> yeah, it's, I wanted something a little uh, more beloved in society, so I went for Wall Street trader instead. <laughs> <laughs> Vampire was taken. Something crazy. <laughs> okay. Do you think you'll go back to either trading or, uh, or uh, uh, politics? Uh, I don't see why I can't do both. Congress seems pretty. Yeah, they seem to trade. Those guys seem to trade pretty regularly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm looking at the market, and I'm looking at the fact that we had a big jobs report last week, which is sort of a good news, bad news thing, because if you have too much money to spend, mm -hmm. the Fed thinks there's you know, too strong of an economy, and they're going to keep the interest rates high. How is that affecting uh, Wall Street, how they trade? Because let's face it, half of us participate in, in, in the market. 100% of us participate in the economy. So how are you feeling right now? Yeah, I think counterintuitively, a strong jobs report means that, and we see it today with the market being down a percent, I think, at the open, yeah. 
Um, it, it doesn't actually mean good news because it means the Fed is going to keep this interest rate uh, hike longer. And everyone thought at the beginning of the year that we'd be done or maybe be cutting. I thought, I thought this was the month we'd have a soft landing. Yeah. I, and I swear, it's going to be six months more at least. So right now we have a 50% chance, which no one thought at the beginning of the year, of having another rate hike in 2023 and not even touching. Like in the November meeting. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So what's interesting is if you think about interest rates, they don't affect the mortgage rate right away because that, that covers the long bond. But it does, it's pretty significant because eventually you're going to see interest rates go up in mortgages, and that's what people care about. Yeah. So what is it doing in terms of trading? Has the market baked this in already, or, or, or we, have, we haven't seen the worst of it? We, I don't think we have seen the worst of it. Um, one of your previous segments I saw you discussed uh, a billion plus. It's actually $2 billion a day that the U.S. government is spending on uh, interest payments. And wow. we have about 38% of our debt uh, that's coming in the next year. Uh, long-term debt that's maturing that's going to need to be refinanced at these higher rates and maybe we do have a cut next year but we're still going to be at the four or five level when we've been at zero for 10 years how do we explain the fact that the market is i think the market's up this year uh up until the last couple of months how can we be so strong with respect to i mean you know, there's only one thing that makes the stock market go up more buying than selling mm -hmm. but we've been pretty we have a good resolve in, in terms of in spite of in inflation, we're still investing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's actually a flight to safety. As I said the last time I was on, uh, seven companies account for the majority of that raise. And it's interesting, we don't have a better economy yet. Business earnings are still down. So all of this growth the entire year has been multiple expansion. So people are just paying more, they're choosing to pay more for the same businesses or slightly worse. Last question for you. How bad did all the stimulus post the first stimulus hurt us as an economy, in your opinion? Well, we just have to live through the consequences of all the inflation that it causes and the <laughs> Asked higher interest rates. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, if you look, it was at that, nice when we got it. But if you look at that chart uh, going back to 1940, if you see uh, us pumping in uh, liquidity into the economy, like every time, it's interest rates, interest rates. So it's sort of we met the enemy, and it's us. And the point is, we just have to live through this. But let's face it, this is the worst economic disaster since the Great Correction in 2008. We've gone through two major events that our parents didn't go through. And I, what my concern is, when we come out the other end of the tube, are we still trading the same way? Are we saving the same way? What's going to happen? I think it's probably inevitable that in 10 years, we see the US paying $2 trillion a year in interest payments and that's just going to have to be our our level i think the best case scenario is if we can get inflation down that's going to have to come at the expense of workers somewhat because they their wage growth has been higher than almost all other forms of inflation um we might see the fed moderate moderate to about uh, two four percent stay in that range and that would be neutral not zero where we have been and not where we are and once again it's too many dollars chasing too few goods and services so now we got dough to spend mm -hmm. the supply issue is a problem prices go up that's right and at the end of the day um i i do fear about what's going to happen with the stock market because it hasn't been hit yet i mean we've had a couple of hitches in the giddy up but it hasn't really been a big deal yet mm -hmm. so what happened is it new year's is it november 10th after the meeting I mean, are, are you investing as a, as a defense, or are you just going to, you know? Well, th the problem is you have this um, tension between people that want to do something with their money. They were beaten up all last year, and they're really only being one place to go, these really strong companies that everyone's buying, and then everyone buys them, so they go up even they, more, yeah, right. mm -hmm. and it becomes a uh, vicious cycle. And the other piece it's of this gonna is, pop. It's now they're paying bubble. off credit card debt, right? Oh. I mean, the credit card debt's a problem. And I think that's it. I think the fact that we got too much money, we got fat and ha cats get fat, pigs get slaughtered. Yeah. And I think Why that's- Why do you point at me? Yeah, well, we're, well we're you're good. more shaped like uh, a piece of bacon than a regular. <laughs> Howard Font is our uh, analyst here on The Big Biz Show. Thanks for coming in, but I can't wait to see you again on uh, The Real Floor. Thanks for having me. Happy to be in. Good to see you, Howie. Studio. Don't you, don't you feel like, I feel less about myself. Oh my, uh, you like, talk about, he sits here and I'm like, Underachiever. <laughs> okay. That's great. Great job, Costa. Grace Lee.
So do you have a, a, a checking account? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, just, still, huh? he still has his 1976 <laughs> debit card. <laughs> Big Biz Show, BigBizShow.com. We'll see you in a second. You know, the new ones, they have these chips. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and how's that work? <laughs> you had Mike and chips. <laughs> 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 Wait. I don't see chips. Who said chips? <laughs>